The B426 module provides bi-directional communication over an Ethernet network. In this tutorial, you will learn how to prepare the module for programming. When you open the box, you should find the module, a double-ended Molex cable, an instruction booklet, and a computer disk containing the installation and operation guide. First, you need to apply DC power to the card's power terminals. Take a 12-volt power source, in this case a battery, and connect red to positive and black to negative. Note that the tamper jumper controls LED activity. When in place, the LEDs are off. When removed, the LEDs operate normally. Upon booting up, the B426's LEDs will flash its firmware version. The LED will then go solid on the heartbeat, indicating that there is no network connection at this time. Next, plug into the B426 with an Ethernet cable. You can use a straight through or crossover Ethernet cable. The B426 auto negotiates and will accept either kind of cable. Plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into your laptop. The link LEDs will come on to indicate a network connection, and the heartbeat LED will flash. You will notice a three pulse heartbeat pattern because we are not fully configured. A steady heartbeat will indicate that it is talking to the bus on the panel. The card comes default at address number one on the rotary dial of the card. Addresses one and two are used when connected to the SDI2 bus of GV4 panel types. Use address 4 on GV3 and below panels to select SDI88. The B-series panels only have address 1 available for the IP communicator. The card is now ready for programming. Please see the next video in this series for programming of the B426. For more information, consult your installation guide or visit BoschSecurity.com. Bosch. Invented for life.